Oh wow, we just can't tether down this mind of ours, can we? We can't tether it down and make it look a certain way. It's just always on spontaneous arising of the here and now. All experience. Completely uncontrived in its nature. All thoughts, emotions, sensations just can't predict what it's going to be next. The uncontrollable, unpredictable flow. And so when we have the great fortune of meeting the Balanced View training, we are introduced to a way of being where we can simply allow ourselves to be as we are, to feel everything fully, to experience everything openly in the moment of its arising, all data, all thoughts, emotions, sensations, and no longer try to mute down the flow of experience, but let it be wide, open, wild and free. And how we do that is that we are introduced to open intelligence. We can introduce ourselves right now. If we just stop thinking for a moment, what remains? <coughs> An alertness, a brightness, cognizance remains. Open, open intelligence, open like the sky. Openly perceiving all data inseparably like the colour blue in the sky. Data appearing vividly, perceptively, like a rainbow in space, but inseparable from, from open intelligence, open intelligence pervading everything. And in short moments, we, we remind ourselves of this inseparability of ourselves, our experience from open intelligence. We settle in to reality as it is. <coughs> settle into the way things are. We, for a short moment, give up the attempt to contrive our experience into anything else apart from complete naturalness. Allow ourselves to be wide open and free and shine forth in this moment completely. Allow all data to flow naturally as they do. And in short moments we, of open intelligence, we just discover for ourselves what that means for us, the impact that has in our life, in this moment right now. In this moment right now when we allow the current data stream, whatever it may be, to simply be as it is, to be inseparable, to arise vividly and resolve like a line drawn in space, leaving no trace. The nature of all data. Non-independent. United. Complete in every single moment. Our true identity. No longer trying to make ourselves an isolated individual with something to prove as resting deeply as we are, as open intelligence. And seeing really we get to know that about ourselves that we can completely rely on. No matter the data that's arising, open intelligence shines inseparably. We recognise it, we acknowledge it, we train it up, we rest as it. We get to know our power in that then really no data pose any problem. And uh, so I've seen for myself the, like going, basically everything in my life has been about trying to connect, like everything. Trying to connect, trying to understand, trying to be okay. And uh, so complaining was a way to connect. Like, you know, like if a problem comes up and then it's like, you just feel that all this data, you just got to tell someone. It's like the power to connect. So I mean, like, just go and find somebody and like tell them about what had happened. And also with this whole movement to find a solution. And uh, just, just, you know, data arising and thinking that it has to be described and emphasised. And that's the most powerful way to use my mind. And for the first 28 years of my life, that's all I knew. I didn't know about the option of resting deeply as open intelligence in that data as it is in that moment. 
And really when we do that, when we allow the data stream, whatever it is, to be as it is in this moment, we empower ourselves completely as open intelligence. And naturally, we see what is of most benefit. And that might be sharing what has happened with somebody. But very magically, what we see comes about is there's this natural impetus to, to share, to focus on solutions and share gratitude. It's like, it's like it's the natural bubbling force of our true nature, of open intelligence. That's just my experience, that uh, the, the movement to complain and connect in that way is just sort of fizzled out. It's become boring when to get to know the always-on connection of open intelligence, just simply resting deeply. We can try it right now, just when we relax completely. Allow ourselves to be utterly inseparable from this here and now. Recognize open intelligence as you are. Brightness, power, totally complete, perfect. To feel in my life like um, such a large focus on friendships and relationships and wanting them to look a certain way and dearly from my heart wanting all to be well. And so in the in feeling that something wasn't well, like a certain data stream comes up that means someone's not happy with me or I've done something wrong, then really like the data start going like churning, like oh no, and then it's just, you know, the obsessive thoughts are just running. Great care, great care, great care. That's its true, its true essence, great care. I care so much. <coughs> Open intelligence cares so much. It's unstoppable. And so really, in, we, we see the choice right there, like you so amazingly explained, like we, we have the choice to rest deeply as open intelligence, to relax mind and body, to allow the thoughts to run out and self-resolve moment by moment. In that we find stability, openness, relief. Whilst the obsessive thoughts are still there, the, the, the vast openness of open intelligence is, is always on. And... Um, and then we just see solutions and on, in, increasing ongoing ease in that data stream and really get to know the connection that's not about the data looking a certain way. The ultimate friendship, you could say. It's uh, connecting with everybody we know as open intelligence and, and, and continuing on and not getting caught in the stories because that's really the relating we're looking for is the always on openness that no matter you know like if our if our friend has a bad day or if we do something to annoy a friend that we continue on in great openness with love care <coughs> and role model that for everyone and are able to address things just totally as needed call them up and say how are you i love you And I'd say that, you know, wow, intimate relationships. <laughs> Isn't it a great topic? I mean, that's a real one that's like, like gone really like deep inside in terms of like, I'm not complete if it's not here. And, um, and uh, but just what I've seen for myself is just the greatest adventure. Letting myself be as I am. Getting to know like the unstoppable love of the here and now. And really, it changes the entire playing, you know, playing field. Like, what am I looking for? Where is that located? What is that belief system that I've been running all my life about the prince that's going to come along and sweep me off my feet, do the white horse, do, 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 <laughs> sunsets, happily ever after. You know, like the, the entire, and then it unfolds, and then, you know, it, and not at all to sort of dispel any happiness. Everything included. No extreme needed. Maybe the prince will come along. I don't know. Maybe, we, maybe I won't fancy him. Uh oh. All I've been like the entire lifetime building up the story. It's like. You'd probably be on like a little brown pony or something like that. <laughs> it's not how I imagined it, guys. <laughs> but 
but just getting totally real like totally real letting ourselves it's nothing more exciting than getting to know ourselves as we are like allowing reality to be so overwhelmingly fantastic as it is like allowing it completely to shine forth open intelligence to be so spectacular and magnificent the flow of data to be rich empowering gorgeous <laughs> just really to get to know ourselves in that way and like was said in the talk examining all data streams from open intelligence identifying open intelligence as inseparable from all data streams because that's that's the stable ground and that's how we get to know what we really want to do and for me personally, I just love feeling so stable in that data stream. You know, I go home you know, to my hometown and the first question is always like, so, India, Sweden, you know, I've got this international life, like, boyfriend. <laughs> and, it's, and I just, I love it. I love, like, being utterly myself like totally uncontrived, being with whoever I'm with and saying, there's no boyfriend and I am so happy. I am like more well than I have ever been in my life. Not because there's necessarily no boyfriend, <laughs> maybe, but, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, that is the answer. Simply as I am, simply as I am, relishing and enjoying the unfolding of me as I am, all data streams permitted. And uh, it's radical, it's radical to be so well, so stable, not looking for someone. Some, a, a friend at home said that to me recently, it's like, wow, <laughs> I don't know any women your age who are so fine. <laughs> <laughs> who are like fine, like so fine, like you feel it when you're with someone, like, they're just, I'm relaxed at ease not like on the on the hunt like, no, no, no. it's just it's so liberating it's so completely liberating and each for ourselves getting to you know like to get to know ourselves in that way and then just all options are open like what is intimate relating like you ask what is it and for me it's just like increasingly the flash instant of every moment with everyone like getting to know myself getting to know everybody meeting people completely with an open heart allowing what i always thought was encapsulated into one person to just open up freely as the essence and beauty the, the self-love inseparable from love for love of all inseparable from open intelligence for everyone and in that is just such great freedom great stability unstoppable power to be of benefit to all because that's what we really want. That's what we're really interested in.